Good morning guys, Richie Rich here. Today in this video, um, I'm gonna be doing another uh, car explanation video. And uh, it's freezing. God, I don't know. my phone, my phone, it says like minus one degrees outside, so that's freezing. So today in this video, I'm gonna be doing a video on the Porsche 911 GT2. Um, so I rec I recently done a GT2 video last uh, last year. Um, well, a few months ago, pretty much. Um, it was on my birthday, pretty much, and um. So, um, yeah, so, uh, I didn't know what to say, basically, because, uh, I'm just a bit tired. <coughs> Alright, so, without any further ado, guys, let's get started. So, the Porsche 911 GT2. The Porsche 911 GT2 is a high-performance, track-focused sports car built by the German automobile manufacturer Porsche from 1993 to 2009. And then since 2010, as the, G as the GT2 RS, it's based on the 911 Turbo and uses a similar twin-turbocharged engine but features numerous upgrades including engine enhancement, enhancements, larger brakes, and stiffer suspension. The GT2 is significantly lighter than the Turbo due to its use of removal of interior components. As a result, the GT2, now GT2 RS, is the most expensive and fastest model along the 911 lineup. And yeah, literally, like, the stock of GT2 RS from 2012, that produces 620 horsepower. But the one from 2018 produces an extra 80 horsepower, so it's 700 horsepower. It makes the same power as a Lamborghini. Well, Lambert, well an, an Aventador, the LP700-4. But it really makes, like, 600, 691, 691 horsepower. But if you round that up, it's 700 horsepower. So, Porsche 911 GT2 RS, it's overview. Manufacturer is obviously Porsche. Uh, it's production is from 1993 to, to, to 2019. Assembly is in Germany, Stuttgart, Baden, Wurttemberg, Wurttemberg. <clears throat> I don't really like, you know, know much German, pretty much like, I can say Guten Morgen, Guten Tag, Ja, Nein, just, it's not not really not really that good, you know. I'll be honest. I, I'm, I, my German's not really that good. Like uh, one day I was want to practice German as well as long, as well as uh, Lithuanian and uh, Norwegian. It'd be pretty good. So its designer is Pinky Lai. Kind of weird, but it's true fact. I I actually searched this up on Wikipedia. That's where I got all the info on the car. Every single piece of the info, every single bit, literally, and that's what it is. And he's an automotive designer. And then we got Harm Lagai, L A G A A Y. He's a, I don't get that either. He's a Dutch, he's a Dutch automobile designer. And then we got Michael Mauer. His last name is spelled M. His last name is spelled M A U E R, and he's a German automobile designer and a chief designer at Porsche. And he also worked for plus he also worked for Mercedes. So next up is the body and chassis. It's class it's a S class sports car. The body style is a two door coupe or coupe as you could call it. Uh, its layout is a rear engine, rear wheel drive, for lightness and for better traction, push down to the rear wheels. <laughs> and it's related to the 911 GT3 as I talked about that like a few months ago back in 2023 not 2023 sorry 2022 there we go and the 911 turbo next up is the 993 generation <clears throat> it's overview it's production is from 1993 to 1998 powertrain is engine the powertrain 
is the um, important part. So the engine is a three. The engine is a three. Sorry, just a birds squealing. Anyways, uh, its engine is a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged, twin turbocharged Porsche M64 flat six power output from 316 to 331 kilowatts, 430 to 450 PS, 424 to 444 horsepower. Its transmission is a six speed manual. Pretty good. Can't get that one with the automatic because it's. It's a sports car, it has to be light, and it's for proper drivers. So, i am always been a manual guy. Always with like, you know, stick shift and the, the, the clutch and everything else. So it's, it's a lot better than automatics. <clears throat> so, transmission, six speed manual. Good. Uh, the, nine, <clears throat> the 993 GT2 was initially built in order to meet homologation requirements for GT2 class racing. Because the cars were built to meet the GT2 class regulations, the road cars were named accordingly, but batched as the 911 GT. The 99 the 993 GT2 featured widened uh like wider plastic uh, fenders, and a larger rear wing that a larger rear and a larger rear wing. There we go, with air scoops in the struts for improved engine cooling. The 993 GT2's original 3.6 liter 220 cubic inch engine generated a maximum power output of 316 kilowatts 430 PS 424 horsepower as I explained before in 1998 it was upgraded upgraded <coughs> it was upgraded to 331 kilowatts 450 PS 444 horsepower 57 cars were built 13 were right hand drive, 44 were left hand drive, which is a surprise for me basically. I was always into like left hand drive cars, right hand drive, it's a, it's a little bit, I'll be honest, it's a little bit difficult, a little bit weird, because um, cause my left hand is, uh, and my left arm is my weak hand, and uh, it, I, it feels weird whenever I would want to like, change the gears with this hand it feels weird and I have to try to force my like push myself to force to like change the gears with my left hand it's a lot easier because I've always been a left hand drive person like literally it's a lot easier without forcing my body I can just like shift the gears like that so yeah you know left hand drive car left hand drive cars are uh, left hand drive cars are a little bit better like for me personally uh say so 44 or left hand drive that's a surprise. <clears throat> it's technical specifications. There's like 17 of these. Matches my age. <clears throat> so first one is its configuration. It's an air-cooled twin turbocharged two valve per cylinder Porsche flat six engine. So like each cylinder has got two valves to it. If it's a six cylinder, and it then it will have like and then it will be a twelve valve. I don't know. I know sometimes like four valves per cylinder. Four valves per cylinder. You know, 16 valves, four cylinder. All that sort of stuff. Yeah, I don't, I don't really get that. Two valves per cylinder. So Porsche flat six and it's going to have like a 12 valve flat six engine, I guess. I don't know. Say air cooled twin turbo two two valves per cylinder Porsche flat six engine. Its displacement displacement is thirty six hundred cc three point six liters two hundred and nineteen point seven. If you round that up, it's two hundred and twenty cubic inches. Its bore times the stroke is one hundred millimeters three point ninety four inches times seventy six point four millimeters three point zero one inches. Maximum power output 316 to 331 kilowatts, 430 to 450 PS, and 424 to 444 horsepower. Like I said before, at 6,000 RPM. Maximum torque, meanwhile, is 432 pound feet, 586 newton meters. I don't know how that's possible, but oh well. At 3,500 RPM, that's for the 1998 model year. Its length is, is just how long the car is. It's 400, and, not 400, sorry, uh, 4,245 millimeters, 
167.1 inches. It's with how wide the car is. 1,855 millimeters, 73 inches approximately. It's height, that's how high the car is. 1,270 millimeters, 50 inches. And the wheelbase, it's like, like to match up like the same length of the wheels, pretty much. But for the front and rear track is a little bit different. Like the rear track is a little bit bigger. Just because it has a better traction to the rear, rear tires. It's a height 1,270 millimeters, 50 inches. Wheelbase 2,272 millimeters, 89.4 inches. To round that up, it's 80, almost 89 and a half inches. Well, getting close up to 90 inches, pretty much. It's front track. Wait, 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 let me just start again. So, uh, I forgot what I was. Uh, I was just gonna do it. Uh, length 4,245 millimeters, 167.1 inches. Width 1,855 millimeters, 73 inches. Height 1,270 millimeters, 50 inches. Wheelbase 2,272 millimeters, 89.4 inches. It's front track 1,475 millimeters, 58.1 inches. Rear track 1,550 mm millimeters, 61 inches. It's curb weight, that's the important one. It weighs 2,855 pounds, which is 1,295 kilos. Which is light for a car, for a sports car, to have that much power for a 400. That's actually not bad for a four, that's not actually that bad. For a 400 horsepower vehicle with twin turbos, it's pretty light. That's like... It's like I believe it's a little bit heavier, a little bit lighter than most hot hatch, hot hatches, and like some sports cars, pretty much. So power to weight ratio is 333 horsepower per ton. Top speed is 301 kilometers an hour, 187 miles an hour, getting close to the 190 mile an hour range. Is zero to 100 kilometers an hour, zero to 60 is in 3.9 seconds. 0 to 160 kilometers an hour, 0 to 100, 8.7 seconds. Quarter mile time, 402 mil, two meters of 12.1 seconds at 188 kilometers an hour, 177 miles an hour. It's just my drink. Yeah, 117 miles an hour. Next up is the 996 generation. Scan a seven up. Thumbs up, thumbs up for that. Anyways, um, <clears throat> the 996 generation overview. Production is from 2001 to 2005. When I was I was born at that year, 2005. Uh, I had a friend. I had a friend who used to be my girlfriend uh, back at school. Uh, she uh, had the same birthday as me, pretty much. Um, I didn't know that pretty much until I told her and she told me that she had the same birthday as me and I was like, I was like surprised pretty much um, so we, we started dating back in uh, 2018 pretty much and um, it ended in uh, 2022 it was not long but uh, at least we had a good time we had a good time it was pretty good it was fun that was around four years ago I'd say around four years ago we broke up uh, like at the prom, and she had a new boyfriend, which she has now. So, um, I will eventually find myself a new girlfriend in college at some point. I will, at some point, um, I'm still working on that pretty much. So yeah. But I got my friends to help me with that, so I'm doing good. But I will promise you guys I'll find myself a girlfriend at some point. At some point, I will find myself one. At some point, I will. Anyways, let's move on. So, uh, its overview is uh, from production from 2001 to 2005. Powertrain engine is a 3.6 liter twin turbocharged a Porsche M96.70S flat six engine. Power output slightly increased from 340 to 355 kilowatts, 462 to 483 PS. From 456 to 476 horsepower. Transmission is a 6-speed manual. 
1999, the 993 was replaced with the new 996 model. The new GT2 took two years to develop and during the, that time, Porsche decided to abandon the GT2 for motorsports use instead of instead concentrating on competing in gt3 class racing with the new naturally aspirated 99 well naturally aspirated 911 gt3 <clears throat> Devel developed primarily as a ro as a road car in contrast to its predecessor the new gt the new gt2 featured a twin turbocharged version of the gt3's 3.6 liter 220 cubic inch flat six engine it generated a maximum a maximum output of 340 kilowatts, 462 PS, 456 horsepower, which was later increased to 355 kilowatts, 483 PS, 476 horsepower. It's an extra 15 kilowatts, an extra 21 PS, an extra 20 horsepower. So 476 horsepower, pretty good. Uh, like the 993 GT2, the body of the 996 GT2 differed significantly from those of other 996 variants. Yeah. Major differences included uh, wide included uh, wider fenders, a more aggressively shaped nose, and a larger rear wing. According to road testing performed by Car and Driver magazine, the GT2 suffers from hardly any turbo lag. Despite a 10 millimeter reduction in ride height from the 99 ah, 911 turbo, there we go. The drag coefficient is slightly higher. It's so CD, which is short short for coefficient drag, is 0 point, 0 point, uh, 0.034 versus the turbo 0 0.33 due to the fixed rear wing. So without like the rear wing on the Porsches, the drag coefficient goes slightly lower, pretty much. But if it, but if it goes higher, it would re it would increase the weight of the car. But it would decrease the weight if you would like re re reduce the weight of your vehicle, and your drag coefficient starts to go lower, which is a good thing. Technical specifications: configuration is water cooled, is a water cool water cooled twin turbocharged Porsche flat six instead of the usual air cooled for air cooled flat sixes valves is a DOHC four valves per cylinder displacement is a 3600cc 3.6 liter 219.7 cubic inch cubic inch engine bore by stroke 100 millimeters 3.94 inches by 76.4 millimeters 3.01 inches compression ratio is 9.4 to 1 maximum power output 355 kilowatts 483 ps 476 horsepower at 5700 5700 rpm its maximum torque 472 472 pound feet which is 640 newton meters at three and a half thousand rpm length <clears throat> 4,450 millimeters, 1,000, oh, not 1,000, sorry, 175.2 inches, width, 1,830 millimeters, 72 inches, height, 1,275 millimeters, uh, 50.2 inches, wheelbase, 2,355 millimeters, 92.7 inches, front track, 1,485 millimeters, 58.5 inches, well, 58 and a half inches, same thing basically. Uh, uh, rear track 1520 millimeters, 59.8 inches, which is almost 60 inches pretty much. Its curb weight 3153 pounds, which is 1430 uh, kilos. Drag coefficient 0 0.34. Fuel capacity is 89 liters, 24, 24 US gallons. Power to weight ratio is 248 kilowatts, 332 horsepower per ton. Top speed, 319 kilometers an hour, 198 miles an hour. 198 miles an hour is pretty good. I believe that's like the same top speed as like the early, like the, I think the late 2000s Continental GT, I believe. Because I thought on the Top Gear, um, when they were talking about like the different kind of new concept cars and all that they reviewed the Bentley Continental GT 
with the W12 twin turbo car, well, twin turbo engine pretty much, with well, like 550 horsepower. Which makes like 50 more than a Ferrari 575. And it's the same power output that Bentley makes like the same power as Brian's Fast and Furious 4 Skyline. And the Bentley has a top speed of 198 miles an hour. Crazy. So, <clears throat> yeah, top speed 319 kilometers an hour, 198 miles an hour. 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 0 to 60 from 4 point, it's gone down by 2 tenths of a second. From 4.1 to 3.9 seconds. 0 to 200 kilometers an hour, 120, from 0 to 120, so, 0 to 200 kilometers an hour, 0 to 124 miles an hour, 13, from 13.9 to 12.2 seconds. And a quarter mile time <clears throat> was in 402 meters, 12.1 seconds. Now, it didn't really show the, the speed of it, but I don't know what it is. I believe it's like, I don't know, 120, 130, maybe 140 miles an hour. I don't know. Next is a 997 generation. Overview, production from 2007 to 2012. Powertrain is an engine, 3.6 liter twin turbocharged Porsche M97.70 S flat 6. Power output, three engine. There's two versions of the car. There's the GT2 and the GT2 RS. The GT2 makes 390 kilowatts, 530 PS, 523 horsepower, whereas the GT2 RS makes 456 kilowatts, 620 PS, 612 horsepower. Uh, transmission is a six-speed manual. Uh, the 996 GT2 was superseded by the 997 GT2 in 2007 after a brief break with cars arriving <clears throat> at dealerships in November 2007 after an official launch at the 62nd Frankfurt Motor Show. The, the GT2's engine was based on the 3.6 liter 220 cubic inch flat 6 engine as seen on the turbo but featured two variable geometry turbochargers. The engine generated a maximum power output of 390 kilowatts, 530 PS, 523 horsepower at 6,500 RPM and 502 pound-feet, 680 newton meters of torque at 2,200 RPM. The GT2 accelerated from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 0 to 60 miles an hour in 3.6 seconds and on, the, and on to 200 kilometers an hour, 124 miles an hour in 10.6 seconds and had a maximum Top speed of 328 kilometers an hour, 204 miles an hour. This made it. This made it the third Porsche production road car to exceed the 322 200 mile an hour barrier, with the exception of the 19 of the 1998 911 GT GT1, of which only 20 20 units 20 units were produced for street use solely to satisfy. ACO homologation requirements for racing. The American automotive magazine Motor Trend tested the 2008 Porsche 911 GT2 and achieved a 0 to 60 mile an hour, 0 to 100 km an hour acceleration time of 3.3 seconds and a quarter mile time of 11.3 seconds at 129.1 miles an hour, which is 207.8 km an hour. The GT2 also recorded a the GT2 also recorded a braking distance from 60 to 0 miles an hour of 98 feet, which is 30 meters, and 1.10 g of lateral of lateral grip. The appearance of the 997 GT2 once once again differed from its sister car, the 997 Turbo. It had like a few things onto it. It had a revised front lip, yeah, a revised front lip, a newly designed rear wing with two small air inlets on either side, a, re a revised rear bumper featuring titanium exhaust pipes and shark fin outlets. German, <coughs> German, Porsche, German Porsche test driver Walter Roll, who he once uh, raced the Lancia and we won the world champion back in like the 80s, uh, lapped the Nürburgring Nordschleppe on a public day in 
7 minutes and 32 seconds in the 997 GT2. A total of 194 units were sold in the US and 19 were in Canada. Technical specifications technical specifications on the standard 997 GT2. Configuration is a water-cooled twin turbocharged Porsche flat 6 engine. Displacement 3600 cc, 3.6 liters, 220 cubic inch, 4 valves per cylinder. Bore by stroke 100 millimeters, 3.94 inches by 76.4 millimeters, 3.01 inches. Compression ratio 9.4 to 1. Maximum power 390 kilowatts, 530 PS, 523 horsepower at 6,500 RPM. Maximum torque 505 pound feet of torque, 685 newton meters of torque at 2200 RPM. Continuing to four and a half thousand RPM due to VTG variable geometry turbocharger effects. Well, VG, VGT, I was meant to put, which is yeah, VGT variable geometry turbocharger effects. Front brakes ventilated carbon ceramic rotors with rotors with six piston monoblock aluminum fixed calipers and ABS. Rear brakes ventilated carbon ceramic rotors with four piston. So the front brake had six piston. The rear brakes are four piston, four piston monoblock aluminum uh, fixed calipers and ABS. It also has length 4,469 millimeters, 1,700, not 1,000, sorry, 175.9 inches, almost 176. It's width 1,852 millimeters, 72.9 inches, which is almost 73 inches. Height 1,285 millimeters, 50.6 inches. Wheelbase 2,350 millimeters, 92 and a half inches. <coughs> Curb weight 3,170 pounds, 1,438 kilograms. Well, kilos, I would say. Shorten, it's much faster. Drag coefficient is 0 0.32, 0 0.32. The fuel tank capacity, 67 liters, 18 US gallons. Luggage area volume, 0 0.1 millimeter cubed, 3.5 cubic feet. Power to weight ratio, 275 kilowatts, 368 horsepower per ton. Top speed, 328 kilometers an hour, 204 miles an hour. Yeah, 328 kilometers an hour, 204 miles an hour, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour, 0 to 60 miles an hour, 3.9 seconds. Which is under four seconds. Zero to two hundred kilometers an hour, zero to one hundred miles an hour in nine point eight seconds, almost ten seconds. I'll call this a ten second car pretty much. Tests performed by AAM, American Automobile Magazines, the zero to thirty miles an hour, zero to forty eight kilometers an hour in one point two seconds, zero to sixty miles an hour, zero to hundred kilometers an hour in three point eight seconds. 0 to 100 miles an hour, 0 to 160 kilometers an hour in 7.4 seconds, 0 to 150 miles an hour, 0 to 240 kilometers an hour in 15.9 seconds, 150, mi 150 miles an hour, 240 kilometers an hour, 15.9 seconds, under 16 seconds, <clears throat> 100, 0 to 186 miles an hour, 0 to 300 kilometers an hour in, thir in 34 seconds, quarter mile time, 402 uh, meters 11.3 seconds at 209.46 kilometers an hour which is 130.2 miles an hour oh, it's freezing cold all right 997 uh, gt2 rs on may 4th 2010 an rs variant was announced to german dealers in leipzig which is spelled L E I P S nah, sorry L E I P L E I P Z I G which, which is just like a city basically or a country I don't know but it's like it's a place in Germany pretty much uh, the engine in the GT2 RS generated generated a maximum power output of 456 kilowatts 620 PS 612 horsepower and 516 pound feet 700 newton meters of torque i just gotta warm up real quick because uh, i am getting cold
ran back. I don't know why I do these videos outside in the cold. Alright, let's finish this. Uh, well, I got more, but uh, I don't want to take so long. So yeah, uh, the GT2 RS weighs 154 pounds, 70 kilograms less than the GT2, allowing for a top speed of 330 kilometers an hour, 205 miles an hour, and a one in a zero to 100 kilometer an hour, zero to 60 mile an hour acceleration time of three and a half seconds, according to the previous Porsche Motorsports manager, Andreas. Pro, nin, Pro Ninja. I don't know. It's spelled P, P R E U N I N G E R. I don't know his last name, but uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, the RS was conceived around 2007 as a Skunk Works effort. The 727 code number selected for the project corresponds to one of the Nissan GTR's lap times around the Nürburgring's Nordschleife. When the dust settled, Porsche claimed that test driver Timo Kluck had supposedly eclipsed that target by an impressive 9 seconds. <sighs> Porsche produced only 500 units of the 997 GT3 RS globally. Uh, on February 13th, 2022, so it was a day before it, it was before Valentine's Day the next day uh, a 2019 Porsche 911 GT2 RS driven by Jeff Morton won the three day three day Targa high country asphalt rally by two minutes and 24 seconds all right I figured that would be it um so uh I will do uh uh, so I figured that would be it for today. Um, so it's been like almost 30, 33 minutes. Um, so uh, yeah, I figured that would be it for today. I might do a, a I might continue this next week. I don't know, but uh, uh, I don't know, but uh, I will find out whenever I do so. Um, freezing cold outside. Uh, so yeah, um, that will be it guys, um, if you guys like this part 1 video, like uh, the video, subscribe, uh, comment, comment below what you guys think of the video, and uh, I'll do uh, the 991 generation video part for part 2, maybe next week, I don't know, but whatever I, ha whatever I have in mind, planned, I might do it. So that will be it. Um, have a good day guys, a fantastic day, have a fantastic day, stay safe, um, uh, I'll, now, I'll see you guys, um, next week, I guess, so, uh, or maybe tomorrow, cause I figure tomorrow I might do a video on the specifications, uh, for muscle cars, actually, so, uh, so, I'll see you guys, um, uh, maybe tomorrow, or next week, I don't know. But uh, I'll see you guys soon. All right. So like I said, like the video, subscribe, comment below. Uh, thank you guys for over 23 and a, by the way, thank you guys for over uh 23 and a half thousand views that make me super happy, super happy. If we can get to over 40 40 subscribers, it will make me happy. So yeah, um maybe getting up to like 50 60 or even a hundred if we could get up to that or maybe a thousand subscribers if we could get up to like over 40 that i got currently it'll make me a happy uh it'll make me a happy man so yeah um and i'll i'll see you guys soon so take care stay safe and enjoy your day i'll see you guys soon bye